hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make this very delicious festive chin chin ever since i started my channel i've been waiting for this time to come so that i'll make my chin chin we all know that christmas time december time is chin chin season Everybody is making chin chin for their guests, so I'm gonna show you how I make chin chin. And please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Thank you. Oh yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna leave the list of the ingredients in the description box. So I'm gonna start by sifting four cups of all-purpose flour. Add in a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of baking powder and sift everything together. When I'm done, I'm going to add a cup of sugar and mix everything together. You can also add sugar to your own taste. Then I'm going to add half a cup of butter and mix it in. You don't have to use a cold butter, you can use room temperature butter. And when you are done, the end product should look more like breadcrumbs. When you are done, this is how it's supposed to look like. Then I'm going to crack in an egg and add milk gradually. I'll be starting with a cup of milk and I'll add it gradually. You can still use water instead of milk. When I was younger, whenever we made our chin chin, we used water and we did not even add eggs. They told us that if you add egg and milk, that the chin chin is going to be too soft. When you start frying it, the chin chin will fall apart. That's what they told us. but. Of course it's not true but I'm not gonna lie the chin chin tasted so good without egg and milk like I said before I'm gonna be adding the milk gradually because I don't want a very soggy dough but rather a solid ball of dough because the dough is not soft it requires a good amount of kneading to mix it in and whenever I find a dry spot, I'll just pour a little bit of milk over it so that it will be very easy to incorporate with the larger dough. One good thing about making chin chin dough, you can never go wrong with it. If it is too soft, add more flour. If it is too hard, add more water. So this is the leftover of the one cup of milk I used. The dough is soft, so I'm going to sprinkle in about a tablespoon of flour and knead it. If it is not enough, I'm going to add more, but it's enough, so I'm just going to just roll it and let it rest. While I let it rest for about 10 minutes, I'm going to cover it with a plastic wrap so that it doesn't dry up. Letting it rest makes it easier for you to roll it when it is time to roll it. And when it is ready, I'm going to split it into four parts because I want to cut my chin chin four ways. So I'm going to dust the cutting board and the rolling pin, then roll out the dough. So when you are dusting your surface, try not to use too much or a lot of flour because it is going to be problematic when you are frying the chin chin. If you are new to my channel or you are a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever I post a video, like and share the video. Thank you and God bless you. Try to roll your dough from the inside out because the middle tends to be thicker. After rolling the dough to my desired thickness, I'm going to cut off the rough edges and save it for later. So the first style of chin chin I will be cutting is the classic chin chin. This is the common and regular way most people cut their chin chin. Cut your dough into strips and cut them into little squares or rectangles. Usually we'll cut our chin chin with knives, but I find it way easier when you use a pizza cutter. It is faster and the process is more enjoyable. I am practically doing the same thing I did with the knife, but this time it is faster. 
sometimes when the dough sticks to the wheel i just coat the wheel with some flour and we are good to go let me use this opportunity to send a special shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as facebook instagram and pinterest thank you easy don't you think so when i'm done i'm just gonna scrape the pieces and set them aside and finish the rest so this is the leftover of the scrap of the dough i'm just gonna cut it and set it aside too when i'm done another popular style of cutting is the strip chain chain the dough is cut into thin long strips and later shorter strips It is easy and faster to cut it with a pizza cutter, but you could also cut it with a knife too. That's how we do it traditionally anyway. But when you discover the magic of the pizza cutter, you will never go back to a knife. When you are done cutting the long strips, you have to cut across it to the desired length you want. You could eyeball it or you use a measurement, you could use a ruler or other forms of measurement. They really don't have to be equal but it's, it's nicer if they look equal. The third style will be the diamond shaped chain chain. It is almost the same as cutting the first style of chain chain but in this case you have to cut it diagonally to produce the diamond shape. I'm going to show you how to cut it with a knife and with a pizza wheel. And I also have a detailed video on how to cut chain chain. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. You can check it out later. It is also easier and faster when you use a pizza cutter. The most dreadful part of making chin chin is cutting the dough one strip at a time with a knife. And most people would rather not do it by themselves. That's why they recruit people to help them cut the dough. We're almost done. The last one is the leaf shaped chin chin. The leaf shaped chin chin is almost similar to the diamond shape but with a little twist. In this case, the strips are wider and the diamond pieces are bigger. Then I'm gonna make a slit in the middle and turn the dough inside out. Some of you might be familiar with a similar style but it is rectangular. I grew up making that style but there was a time I was making changes. Let me do something else. So I just made the diamond shape, slit the middle and turned it inside out. When I fried it, it just looked like a leaf. I said, oh my God, this is beautiful. So I started cutting my chin chin that way from that day onward. Even when we're younger, helping the grown-ups to cut the chin chin, the, the dough for, to make the chin chin, they encouraged us to create styles and we created so many styles so I really like to create different styles of chin chin. Let me show you a closer look at how I made it. Isn't it easy? Whenever you make your chin chin, feel free to create any style you want. It is your chin chin. So I'm just gonna continue until I'm done. The leftover of the dough that I didn't make the cuts, I'm going to cut them into little pieces and fry them. So when I'm done cutting all the dough, it is time to fry the chin chin. You need to deep fry the chin chin. Heat up your oil on the medium high. When it is hot enough, that's when you start frying your chin chin. If the oil is not hot, the, the chin chin is going to soak up the oil. It's not going to be good. You can check the hotness of your oil with a skewer or a sample of the dough. When it is hot enough, it is a perfect time to fry your chin chin. Try as much as possible not to overcrowd the pan because if you do, it's going to soak up oil. Don't just allow the chin chin to sit clumped together in the middle. You have to stir it around so that they don't stick together or burn. When you start frying your chin chin, you really need to babysit it. If not, it might burn very easily. Especially when you fry it to the perfect shade that you want it to be. Your chin chin is already burnt.
so my advice to you is to fry your chin chin two or three shades lighter than your desired shade you also need to frequently stir your chin chin so that they will have a uniform color and don't be tempted to wait for your chin chin to look crunchy or crispy in the oil before you take it out because that only happens when you take it out of the oil if you wait for it to look very hard crunchy in the oil your chin chin is gonna get burned before you achieve that in the oil when your chin chin looks like this light golden brown take your chin chin out it is gonna look darker and crunchier as it cools down so i'm just gonna repeat the same process with the other style of chin chin so if you are still watching the video please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and if you are not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button like the video share it and invite your friends thank you and if you are more active on facebook or instagram and pinterest you can also follow me there whenever i make changing i always have these fond childhood memories of how we made changing especially the christmas time all the children in the compound we gather to make the changing together the older adults mix the chin chin then the younger children roll out to the dough we cut it then they fry it and we eat together as if it's a party it's not a party we're just making it for us and some guests so we we'll split it into equal parts for each family to celebrate christmas with and it was really a fun time oh i really miss those times when we had fun as children and sometimes when I think about it, it was like a production line. You have the people that mix it, you have the people that roll it out, and the ones that cut it, and the ones that fry it, and also the ones that share it. <laughs> it was fun. Do you guys have any fun memory of Christmas? If you do, please share with me in the comment section. So this is the last batch. We are done frying chin chin. This is the final product. Just spread out the chin chin to cool down. Different styles of chin chin with the same dough. One fun thing about chin chin, it is a group activity. You can engage your children to help you and also encourage them to create beautiful styles. See, this is so beautiful. When you entertain your guests with this chin chin, they would think it is classy see looks like a leaf as if it was bought from the store or made in a factory or something well it was made with love so whenever you decide to make your chin chin i hope you give this recipe a try or try one of my different styles and I promise you, you will not be disappointed and your guests will enjoy your chin chin so thank you guys for watching till I see you next time stay safe stay blessed I love you bye